Hey guys, it's me, Jennifer. Um, God, I've been going round and round and round about this on uh, Facebook. Um, apparently I lost a couple of friends, maybe more. Um, only because of the fact that uh, we didn't agree that um, difference between cross-dressers and people who were transgender or transsexual, like myself, this person here. Anyway, um, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. That's the last thing I want to do because I don't want anybody hurting my feelings. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put it to you like this. Um, I quoted the DSMB. I quoted Harry Benjamin, amongst other things. Seeing a psychiatrist or a therapist. Get yourself diagnosed. And everybody says, well, I don't have to see a doctor. Well, maybe you don't. But you can't be a self-proclaimed GID, in my opinion. And it's only my opinion. Okay, I'm going to piss off a lot of people probably, but I'm only trying to help you out. I guess where I'm going with this is, and don't repeat what I'm doing here, I'm smoking. You should not smoke and be on hormones at the same time. It can really mess you up. Hmm. Good cigarette. But anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, I've been getting into a lot of um, debates with um, those who say they're transgender or believe that they're transgender or transitioning or transsexual but um, they don't want to come out of the closet and I can understand that I really can it took me a long time it took me oh my god 35 years to come out of the closet that's from birth but God I've been dressing and stuff like that ever since then so um what I have to say to you guys is that um, for one I do not like being bunched up in the same category with someone who is cross-dressing. Um, I do show more than just pantyhose and um, panties and high heels. Um, I take my pictures from the waist up as you can see as on this video. Um, no, I'm not the prettiest thing in the world and I I doubt I'm anyone would ever think I was, but I'm going to put it to you how it is. It's just that um, don't, I mean, if you're a cross-dresser and you're okay with it and that's your thing, then do it. Um, I will, you know, let you be yourself like I want you to let me be who I am. Um, and if you choose to transition, get out of the closet and do this full time outside your bedroom, outside your house and take photos from the waist up from the waist up then okay I'm okay with that but um, you have to be honest with yourself um, do the things that you're going to do to um, be yourself I don't, like I said, I don't mean to piss anybody off, and if I do, I'm sorry. It's a cruel world. I've learned that as someone that transitioned um, at home, at work, with my kids. Um, so don't even start to preach to me about you don't, you don't know what I'm going to go through. Well, that's the whole part of transitioning, hon. You have to know what you're going to go through. It's hard. I had to talk to my children and they were only five and seven at the time. They're 11 and 13 now and they love me more than ever because they look at the inside of me, not what's on the out. So if you're going to be as so bold as to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, well, I would have to say take a walk in my flip-flops because that's what I actually prefer to wear when the weather's outside. You know, it's pretty nice. I don't don heels all the time, um, though I wish I could, but, um, anyway, um, I guess enough of me ranting and raving. 
in um, case you're wondering. Yes, new do. Not a wig. Just um, hair straightened. That's all. God, it took about an hour and a half to do this. But, oh well. I hope you guys like. If you like me, like me. Friend me, friend me. Um, other than that, um, I don't mean to come down really hard on some of you, but sometimes you need a good ass whooping. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Peace.